What up, YouTube? Uh, yeah, Bew, Bewtube, like beauty, Bewtube. Okay, I'm still working on the intro. Tell me if you like it. If you don't, then leave it in the comments below and tell me what should my greeting be. Just maybe I should just say, hello, hi, how are you? I'm Cherise and welcome to my channel. Admittedly, this channel has gone through some phases. It used to be a hair channel or hair review of hair review channels and then it turned into more so like a, a, a do-it-yourself channel and then it turned into well this so I kind of like put this channel as a lifestyle channel because I handle things with life here and I'm not sure if you already know this but I do have another channel and it's called Reese TV and I deal with everything nerdy and thus my hiatus from this channel because I seriously got bored I just got bored talking about hair and talking about do it yourself and or it was just I couldn't find time to talk about things that were nerdy as well as home or life stuff so hopefully this will stick because I have myself on a schedule like I'll do these type of videos first because it's technically helping me get ready for the second video. So, yeah, I'm rambling. But as you can see, I'm a Mary Kay consultant. I have all sorts of inventory here, and you can definitely reach me at www.marykay.com slash clivingston313. Okay, yes, that's a lot. To remember or a lot to say and I'm going to leave the link in the description box below now let's talk about what we are here for and that's about contouring because contouring is still the trend and the only thing I can remember how this contour well ugh, ah, hairball <laughs> this contouring became a trend that was actually after what Chris uh, one of the Jenners Right? Yeah? Maybe? So? I don't know. But it's a kind of beautiful look. I like it. I use it. Even though my face is kind of contoured even before using contouring. But that's a whole different subject in itself. So anyway, I'm going to teach you how I remember because I just got but I can't speak. I just got done doing a workshop with my director who um, did make up for a living and uh, she told me how to do my face and so I'm hoping that I can replicate this okay so well I have been able to replicate it maybe not the way that she did it but I guess that's how it goes like you go for what is good for you right yeah, right. So, let's get to the airbrush look. And here we go. I got my little mirror right here. So no, I'm not avoiding you. I'm actually looking into the mirror over here. First, I already put on some foundation. Oh my goodness, I am missing my foundation primer. Now I gotta go get my foundation primer. One moment. primer. I already put it on. I also put on my eye makeup. Okay. Hey. Hi. I also put on my eye makeup and um, I use lash intensity and the reason why you put on your eye makeup before you actually put on your foundation is mainly because eye makeup is freaking messy. If you don't think that it's messy then you never put on eye makeup. <laughs> in doing contouring or in doing this look you'll use foundation primer and you'll put it on your fist all right now I guess you'll say why am I using foundation primer again if I already have foundation primer on and that's mainly because extra protection and so your makeup can still last even longer why not 
rent. Psh. Girl, stop complaining. Stop complaining. But hey, this is a beauty or a glamorous more so look, even though after using it, I kind of use it every day. Um, and I use my foundation. My foundation is the matte wear time-wise, and this is bronze seven for me. Why? Because I have some red tone. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? This is it. This is it. All right. Okay, eventually it's going to want to focus on bronze seven, maybe, possibly. Okay, you just have to take my word for it. It's bronze seven. Okay, so, I also put the bronze seven on here. Oh, did I even mention that I used, con I used concealer just a second ago? So, yeah, I put concealer on here. Here's our concealer. Now, one of the things that I hear the most about Mary Kay um, when it comes to black folk is that Mary Kay is not for black folk because it makes us look ashy. Okay, so you're not using the right foundation. You're not. This comes in so many different colors. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. Anyway, so I have this fist full of um, foundation primer, concealer, and foundation. Okay? And I take my handy dandy brush, brush, fist, go! Tap, 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 tap. Okay, so I go all over my face before I fill it in. I just like to do that first. I like the look that it gives with doing so. But honestly, I can't help feel, but feel like I am uh, putting on an old school shave by doing this. Okay, I think I'm covered. Am I covered? Yes, I am. So, the next thing that I will do is contouring. What? This is the wrong contouring I'll use. Contouring. Well, I use both of them, but I use this one before using this one. Okay, so I'm gonna look like I had a war face. Oh, my hand is shaky. Okay. And... All right. So, that's where I put the light part. And, get my darker concealer. Now, I always experiment. I always feel like I should be part of the Lion King in doing this. <laughs> I have no idea what the words are. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you can count that as a cultural pre appropri appropriation. Yes, a cultural appropriation. If so, then I definitely apologize. So, on! Back to the tutorial! We dab this in. Dab, 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 dab. And then I kind of circle around my face because there is nothing worse than having awesome foundation on and 
it doesn't look like it blends in with the rest of your skin. Like, oh, chick, I know that you're wearing foundation. And the thing is, most people don't know that I'm wearing foundation on. Which is how foundation's supposed to work. It's not supposed to be something that everybody knows you're wearing foundation, like, literally. And it's always good to start off with a great base of a great face. And Mary Kay can help you achieve that. We have clear proof for those people who have acne problems. And I've heard a wondrous amount of good reviews about it. But a good makeup, it starts with good skin. How you get good skin? Get Mary Kay. <laughs> so, that's basically my finished look. Um, well, of course I can put on some lipstick because that's where I always forget to put on. Give me one moment. Okay, and back. Okay, so, I used a rosette. I love this look too. I love how it looks. Okay, so how this works, you pop it from the top, then you bring it around to the bottom, and voila. Oh, a little bit of my button came loose. I hate it when that happens. Anyway, and then you just dab. A lot of makeup is just dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. Now, there is a more glamour way of doing these things, but I will put that on the next tutorial. So, that is the finished look of the paint brush, or the spray paint, whatever, <laughs> foundation, uh, or the look, paint, airbrush, there you go. <laughs> I know my terms. The airbrush foundation look. If you want this look, I will put the links in the description box below. But until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.